So as many of you know, I use Income School's Project 24 course to grow my blogs to the point at which they're at today. I mean, type in blogging into YouTube and it's pretty damn hard to miss these guys, right? That being said, when I entered my first review of Income School's Project 24, I think I was only around about a year or so into my blogging journey. My second site has recently crossed the 24 month mark, which means I've now experienced a full website launching it from beginning to end using the Project 24 method. So I think it's about time we dive into an updated review, don't you? Stay tuned then while I dive into all of the benefits, all of the drawbacks about Project 24 and give my overall recommendation as to if it's still worth it in 2023, 2024 and beyond. So let's jump into it. So let's start with the positives and talk about some of the biggest benefits that I like about Project 24. First up then has to be the fact that the course is incredibly beginner friendly. Not gonna lie, before I used Project 24, I had absolutely zero experience in setting up websites and had no idea of what I was doing. Now starting a website can be incredibly, incredibly overwhelming when you first get started. But one of the best things about Project 24 is that it literally teaches you everything from a complete novice to growing a successful website, covering everything from you know where to buy your domain from all the way to generating those first couple of page views. A lot of the other courses that I buy in subsequent years just don't have the breadth of information that Project 24 currently has. And they can only really handle a handful of topics as opposed to Project 24, which is basically a holistic approach. Next up, they have a fantastic community. One of the reasons I continue my membership with Project 24 is just purely down to the fantastic community that they have on their platform. You see, regardless of the blogging course that you decide to go with, at the end of the day, you will run into problems on your website that no course will cover. And so you need a wider community to soundboard ideas off and just to help you out when you are struggling a bit there. As such, a community like Project 24s is one of the best places to go if you are struggling with this. And I think I've used it at least 15 times to save me from absolutely throwing my website away and being like, what the hell is going on? So it's definitely worth it. It works to generate traffic. So another and probably the biggest benefit of Project 24 is that its methods genuinely do work. My second website then, which followed their exact strategy step by step, brought in on average between 15 and 20,000 page views every single month in the past year. Just basically goes to show that the teachings in this course do genuinely work and can help build up those page views in the early days of your website. The final major benefit then of Project 24 is, and we've alluded to it a little bit earlier on, is just simply that it's incredibly, incredibly in depth. Think about any topic with regards to blogging, whether it's you know getting ads set up on your website, doing keyword research or search analysis as they call it, all those different elements, they're all covered off in Project 24. And on top of that, they also every now and then have fantastic guest speakers to help drive and reiterate and come up with a different point of view in terms of addressing some of the challenges associated with blogging there. On top of this, their courses are updated very, very regularly, just to ensure that they are staying on top as best as possible of best practices in the SEO world. So those are just a handful of some of the fantastic benefits that Project 24 has. However, I want this review to be as fair and as even as possible essentially. And you know, since using their system in the past two years or so, there are a couple of downsides that I feel as though they could probably improve on. So it's only fair that I go into a bit of detail on those. The first real drawback then to Project 24 is that I don't really feel as though it's geared more towards those larger websites and it's not really that much of a scalable solution. You see, while Income School is a fantastic course for getting those first 10,000 to 15,000 page views. Once you have a little bit of familiarity with blogging and you're generating decent page views every single month, I feel as though some of the courses do become a little bit irrelevant there. Now, a direct example of this would be if you were to set up you know, an email opt-in or you know, info products on your individual website. That's definitely not gonna be something that you're gonna worry about when you're first you know, getting your website up and running. But when you have a decent amount of page views, it is something that you're gonna to want to think about. While Income School does have an email opt-in course that's half decent to be fair, not, I can't really criticize that. It isn't really geared for what it is that they're doing. And it does kind of go against the advice of some of those guest speakers that they have on their video course there. Another challenge with this is that a lot of you will be using the Acabado theme when you first get started with Income School, which is a fantastic theme, super, super fast, but again, as your website grows, as it starts to scale, I've run into a couple of issues of setting up, you know, email opt-in pop-ups and all those different kinds of things, which doesn't really talk to Acabado without a lot of back-end talk there. So it's just a little bit frustrating with that stuff. This is gonna be a difficult one to admit, but I didn't achieve the main goal of Project 24 in these two years. And I completely appreciate that this is not Income School's responsibility, right? The only way our websites and our blogs are gonna be successful is directly correlated with the amount of hard work and attention that we put into our website. So I completely, completely appreciate 
appreciate that. That being said, without blowing my horn, which I absolutely hate to do, I genuinely feel as though I gave Project 24 a really, really good hard try. I mean, I uploaded over 200 posts in a two year period updating them very, very frequently. I don't think I took a break from a single month of uploading to this website. And I followed their post recipe to the T and made sure that my keyword research or search analysis was on point as possible. And sadly, my website only managed to bring in around about 20,000 page views as a maximum and around about $200 or so, which as you can imagine, is quite a far fall from the $3,000 to $4,000 that Income School basically promote their system with. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there are probably a couple of things that I've done wrong in setting up my website over these past two years. and Income School most definitely does have a number of successful students who are earning, you know, four, five, six, sometimes even $10,000 every single month in using their platform. However, for me personally, it is a little bit frustrating following their information to see and not getting the desired results there, which is a bit unfortunate. Just keep in mind that while they do promote Project 24 in a 24 month timeline, it might take you significantly longer to hit that full time goal. The pricing is a little bit off. So this is gonna be just a really, really quick one, but to be perfectly honest with you, it is a little bit expensive. Now it's by all means not the most expensive platform or expensive blogging course out there on the internet. There's some that resell for 1,000, 2,000, you know, I think the most expensive one I saw was around about 5,000 pounds bit ridiculous however they do charge around about 400 to 500 dollars in that first year and then our ongoing fee of around about 200 dollars or so every single year after that if you want to access their entire course their platform their community all of those different things so it isn't a scenario where you know you pay once and then you have lifetime access unfortunately it is going to be an incurring cost and i feel as though if they were to reduce this by maybe a third it would be a little bit easier to swallow there. And finally, the last real downside I have with Project 24 is that it feels as though, and again, this might not be based on evidence, but it just feels as though things have changed with Project 24 a little bit ever since one of the founders, Jim Harmer, left. Now, don't get me wrong, Ricky and the rest of the team over at Project 24 are doing an absolutely fantastic job and they most definitely are blogging geniuses. However, the days of Income School sharing their individual websites and sharing directly how well they're performing month after month or our own individual learnings does seem to be a little bit in the past, unfortunately. Another major challenge that Income School face, and I don't really envy them, is that the blogging landscape has changed so much in the past 12 to 25 four months kind of ridiculous i mean 24 months ago there was no ai Google was a lot more calmer with its algorithm updates, not updating pretty much every single month. There weren't snippet bans. However, I do feel as though Project 24 does definitely need to take this into consideration. And instead of saying things like, you know, average out around about a thousand page views per blog post per month, setting a much more realistic expectation between 50 to 200 page views per blog post per month will just take into consideration how difficult and challenging the blogging market currently is at this moment in time. The recommendation. So I've tried to keep this review as fair and as balance as possible. So overall, do I recommend Project 24? Well, whilst I do have my own negatives with them, I do still think that it's one of the best blogging courses out there for beginners if you have no experience in setting up a website all the way up to websites that have around about 10 to 15,000 page views there. When you do have a little bit of experience, when your website does grow significantly in page views, you might need to buy individual courses that help out with specific different elements across your website. But for beginners, I most definitely recommend it as a fantastic product there. So there you have it, blogging family. That's my updated review of Project 24. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the individual platform. And as always, if you're interested in more videos around, you know, how my blogs are doing, sales, side hustles, any of those different kinds of elements, absolutely smash the like and subscribe button as they both genuinely do help out the channel. And until next week's video, I'll leave you to it again. All the best for now. Have a good one. Bye.